HGTV's Masters of Flip debuted in 2015, following Nashville spouses Courtney and Dave Wilson as they transformed rundown wrecks into jaw-dropping dream homes. But ever since their shocking separation in 2019, fans have been wondering about the couple's real story. Here's the truth about Masters of Flip. Show hosts Dave and Courtney Wilson met while she was living in Nashville and he was based in London, both pursuing their dreams of becoming music stars. Courtney told the National Post, Dave was living in London, England and was literally here for two weeks on a writing vacation. We met through a mutual friend and I called my parents a month later to tell them I'd fallen in love. Dave felt the same, adding, I called my band and said I'm not coming back to London, and the rest is history. We became roommates, and then we got married and had three children shortly thereafter. Music has always been a passion for the Wilsons, even though it's no longer their primary focus. Courtney revealed to the Tennessean, We are so in love with this town and passionate about the opportunity we have to transform homes here. What initially drew us to Nashville was the incredible and diverse music scene, since we are musicians, too. Now we are smitten with the homes and real estate landscape here. Every house is different. It's like a song. We've got, a, we've got like 125 songs. In 2001, Courtney released two singles under the name Courtney Kale, with her track Unbroken By You peaking at number 50 on the Billboard Country Singles chart. Then, after the two became a couple and before they launched Masters of Flip, Courtney and Dave formed a musical duo together. In the midst of this, they had also begun flipping homes, which eventually became more lucrative than music. Courtney told the National Post, While all this was going on, we were in and out of publishing deals, and we were still making music. We did eventually get another record deal, and we were on the road. The pair began performing professionally as The Wilsons, releasing the single Stick Together in 2009. The arrival of the couple's sons, however, made pursuing music more complicated. Courtney admitted to the Windsor Star, Obviously, when you have kids, things change dramatically. Everything becomes a lot harder. In 2001, then aspiring country singer Courtney began appearing occasionally on the daytime drama One Life to Live. As MTV News reported at the time, the singer landed a recurring role on the show throughout the summer. The outlet reported, Kale will portray herself and have several musical performances on the show. That led, oh my gosh, to so many years in music and TV. And For Courtney, who had performed in musical productions as a teen, acting was both a creative endeavor and a financial one. She told the National Post, I always like to act. It definitely didn't feed my soul like music, but it did feed the bank account. So I did a brief stint on One Life to Live, playing myself at the time. I went back and forth between New York and Nashville, and that was fun, but music was always where it was at for us, even though it didn't pay the bills like TV did. Courtney and Dave are longtime residents of Nashville, Tennessee, but they are actually Canadian. While both are now dual citizens of Canada and the U.S., Dave hails from Canada's capital, Ottawa, while Courtney is originally from the Ontario city of Windsor. In 2016, Courtney took to Instagram to jokingly admit she felt, quote, conflicted with Canadians celebrating Canada Day on July 1st, while her neighbors to the south celebrate Independence Day on July 4th. She told the Sudbury Star, We're dual citizens, but you can't take the Canadian out of us. While the pair have established deep roots in the city of music, Courtney offered a surprising response when asked where she would live if she had to move to another country. She told Marketplace Events, I'm sort of in love with Italy right now. Dave and I visited this year and felt like we could live in Florence for a while. Not forever, but a year or two would be wonderful. Before Masters of Flip, Dave and Courtney helmed an earlier TV show that had much less to do with flipping houses. In 2009, the pair starred in Meet the Wilsons, a CMT Canada reality series described by the Windsor Star as a kind of Truman show about workaday Nashville folk trying to juggle music careers with the demands of raising a family. And according to the network's series announcement, the show was a family affair. The statement read, With the help of their family and friends, one of whom is crashing with them temporarily, the Wilsons are determined to make all of their dreams come true. I never say, hey, you can have it all. Everything comes with sacrifice. Courtney explained that they chose to do the series after facing tough times while trying to make it in the music industry. She told the Windsor Star, We needed to come up with an angle that would work for us and keep us together doing something we both enjoyed. 
One facet of the Wilsons' lives that was chronicled in their series, Meet the Wilsons, was the couple's renovation of their Nashville home. Courtney revealed that they got into flipping after going through the process themselves. She told the National Post, An agent friend of ours said to us, You bought this house a few years ago and completely transformed it. Why don't you buy another one and do it there, too? So we started doing that, lipstick renovations, and made $10,000. It looks like it fits right into the neighborhood. I know. As house flipping became lucrative for the couple, Courtney and Dave eventually went all in, putting their efforts toward renovating Nashville homes and selling them at a profit. They became experts at their trade, with Courtney serving as realtor and designer while Dave oversaw construction. She told the Toronto Star, As an agent, I know where to spend the money, and Dave is really good at what areas are going to be the next big thing. Location, as they say, is the key. This looks amazing! But making money in real estate can be a roll of the dice, and the Wilsons are well aware of the risky nature of their business. Dave told the outlet, Look, we own 5 to 10 properties at any time. Imagine if the market turns. While Dave was proud to reveal that he and his wife have never lost money on a deal, he recognizes that's always a possibility, adding, You can lose your shirt in a heartbeat. In addition to Masters of Flip, the couple's brand also extends to their own website, with one section featuring Courtney's blog. In one post, she shared a revealing fact about herself, writing, I cry. A lot. I'm tough as nails when it comes to certain things, especially business, but I can cry at the drop of a hat over little more than a good grocery store commercial. Don't even get me started on Disney movies. When Frozen's Elsa unfroze Anna with her act of love, I was a ball full of bubbles and Kleenex. Courtney believes becoming a mom was what unleashed the waterworks. She added, Those damn hormones kicked in and left me overthinking everything. But tears are nothing to be ashamed of in my world. In addition to their two biological sons, the Wilsons are also parents of adopted daughter Lennox. And Courtney explained it was something she's wanted to do for a long time. She told the site This Mom Loves, When I met Dave, one of the very first things I said, no joke, was, Someday I want to adopt a baby, and if this is a deal breaker for you, just let me know. He was, of course, on a first date, saying, Oh no, that sounds great. When their second child was just two months old, the couple decided it was time to start the lengthy adoption process. Courtney added, I just felt like that was something that I was always supposed to do. In addition to being TV stars and musicians, the Wilsons can also add authors to their list of titles, thanks to the 2019 publication of their book, Live Happy, The Best Ways to Make Your House a Home. Courtney told the Edmonton Journal, It's a compilation of tips, everything from decor, life, parenting, marriage. It's a mishmash of stuff. It's very salty. Mm. You're salty. Admitting that fans had already gotten a glimpse into their lives on TV, the couple wanted to share something people didn't readily know. Courtney added, That's when we came up with the idea to do stories on how we got here. So we decided to take tips, things that we used over the last 21 years together, and interject little anecdotes into each tip so we each have a voice in the book. Of all the Wilsons' numerous renovations, the one that remains nearest and dearest to them is their own home. And one of the most distinctive aspects of the project was the transformation of the master bed into Courtney's personal closet. She told Pop Sugar, I moved our bedroom to the sitting room. It was smaller than our bedroom, obviously. And then I made the bedroom my closet, and I gave David the closet off our master bathroom. It's my favorite room in the house. You can actually find me there drinking champagne on a Saturday afternoon reading a book. Courtney's closet is so elaborate that she even decorated it for a holiday party. As she told Toronto, It's not one of those necessities like, say, your kitchen, but I'm proud of the space. After sharing a 2 by 4 foot closet for most of my life with my sister and graduating to sharing a slightly larger walk-in closet with Dave, it has been a joy to start my morning off in a space that reflects me. After the fifth season of Masters of Flip aired in 2019, HGTV Canada announced the couple will be starring in a new show on the network, Making It Home with Courtney and Dave. The network noted that the new series shifted the focus from the Wilsons renovating and flipping by having the couple share their expertise with homeowners. You it good? Like it. Yes. yes. The network explained, homeowners make strategic moves with their money by using their flipping expertise to turn a fixer-upper into the home of their dreams. With the keys and budget in hand, they'll transform each unloved space into a showstopper.
Fans of Masters of Flip were stunned and saddened when the couple announced in December 2019 that they were separating. Courtney revealed on Instagram, It is with a very heavy heart that we share with all of you that after nearly 18 years of marriage, we have decided to separate. We have the utmost love and respect for one another. We will always be a connected family, and together we will build a strong new path. Walk Finding in, the perfect out. spouse, you're not gonna, you're actually not gonna find them. Say that again. And say, you can say that twice again. As for their future on TV, a rep for HGTV Canada issued a statement to ET Canada. We wholeheartedly support Courtney and Dave during this time. We respect their privacy and honor any decision that works best for them and their children. Courtney and Dave will continue to appear on HGTV Canada. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.